I'm sure you're familiar with different variations from this to this to the lazy man when we just go, oh, now, or right here on KHON when we're like this. <laughs> we're talking about the shaka and the origin, something that now is expressed across the globe, originally comes from right here in this part of Oahu, the Laie Kahuku side. And it's really fascinating to know that there's a documentary being made currently that is going to help to share this story. And the documentary is called Shaka, A Story of Aloha. And to find out more, we're here with the producer, Steve Sue. Thank you very much for your time. How's it, Kalaka? I'm fascinated about this story so just to paint a little foundation what is this story about and when did this come about it came about three years ago um, I was interested in the Shaka story like many people on this island I know that 91% of our population in Hawaii have no clue where it came from so like the rest I said where did it come from a friend of mine says go to Laie meet my aunties and uncles they'll tell you the story so I come up to this place and they start to tell me the story and they say this is important to preserve for the keiki because once they go nobody knows the story uh, so I thought, let's bring up a test crew, shoot some shots, because they were completely insistent that we do a movie on this. And I'm like, I'm not sure we want to do that, but we'll see. And as soon as we saw the test shots, uh, it was obvious this needed to be made, made into something that's shared with the world, because the shaka is Hawaii's gift to the world. It, it's the power of aloha. And so I'm super excited to be part of the project. Kamehameha Schools funded it. They brought in cultural consultants. It's been just this... Uh, amazing collaboration among all of the LDS community up here, Polynesian Cultural Center, BYU Hawaii, uh, you know, it's just amazing how people have come together and I have not had an experience of people fighting about the story. They all want to contribute in a awesome. really respectful way. So I'm, I'm super stoked. I know something that's taking place tomorrow as part of this documentary, which we will be filming, is bringing back this grand hukilau, or this practice that communities come together to harvest fish and pull in the fish net as a community to feed that community. Tell us about what's taking place tomorrow. Yeah, so the, the grand hukilau of the olden days, which is the 1948 to 19, I think about 63, they held these hukilau to raise money for the LDS church that had burned down. And so that, um, uh, that, that event ended in 1964 after Polynesian Cultural Center opened. So the, the goal of this event was really to raise money and then they stopped doing it. We're bringing it back now 60 years later for this one-time event and the significance of it is that this event largely helped the Shaka get out to the world. It took it to the Honolulu side. Lots of people came to this event. Um, so it, you know, it helped popularize the gesture. That's amazing. So when are you expecting to complete this documentary? Uh, mid next year. So we'll do the film festival circuit, hopefully get it on online distribution. It was originally created um, for classrooms, so KS schools, Kamehameha schools, um, the, the DOE system and beyond, that's kind of our goal. Awesome. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you for working on such a story. You bet. Now, the public, you have an opportunity to be part of this grand hukilau that's being filmed tomorrow right here at Hukilau Beach in Laie from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come down and check it out and be part of this really event that hasn't been done for a really long time in this community. For all the information, about that and the Shaka, a story of Aloha documentary, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakopili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.